Hi, today we're going to make a train whistle. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And uh, so Steve uh, Ramsey from Woodworking for Mere Mortals, he did one, so I figured I would make a round one. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I just took a piece of myrtle wood and, and trued it up. What I'm going to do is uh, make the, the top for the whistle right here. And I'm going to do it, um, I was thinking about it, I was watching Steve's video. I'm going to make it just like a box. So I'm just going to make this the lid. And I'm going to put a small tendon right down here so that it goes right back over but sits up off of the the um, this the top of the wood so the air can go through. So just going to come in here right there. And then I'm going to hollow hollow out the inside here. I'm just going to use a bowl gouge to get the majority of it out and I'll use a scraper. And I'm out pretty far away from the headstock here so I'm just going to go nice and slow on this. So I just hollowed this out a little bit and I'm going to take and run a bit down through the center and I think this is uh, probably just half inch and I'm not sure, I don't think it matters how big the hole is but I guess we'll find out when we're done, right? And turn this down a little bit. Go ahead and put the center back in and then part it off. And I don't need to finish sanding the inside or anything, so I'm just going to uh, part it off, turn it around, and then finish the whole whole whistle all at once as far as sanding goes. So, basically this is, are we still on? This is what we have. I have put a little lip in there to hold it up off of the off the top of here. And I just cupped it out, you know, like a cone. It's, it's not flat, but I will find out whether that affects the sound or not. And I pop the hole all the way through. Then I'll make a tenon on here, just like a box, put it back on, and then finish the whole piece. But I need to get center on this and drill my, and bore my holes down inside of it first. So... Let's go ahead and do that. But I'm going to mark number one on this one. So before I pull it out, I'm just going to mark number one so that I know, know where the jaws go back in there. So it gets as, it, as close as possible. Right there. Just a little bit more, we'll find out. Alright, I had a 5 8 inch dowel, so I'm going to use that too, and I think that's a little bit bigger than the one Steve, Steve used too, but I'm going to just check the dowel and see see which, one's, which ring is closer and then use that one. And then I'll just put three of them in and just make a little triangle with it. Okay, have my holes drilled down in there, and I drilled one at inch and three quarter, one at uh, two and a half, and then the other one is uh, almost four inches. So just varied them just just a little bit, and so let's put it give it number one back up here. Put it back on there. Put the tailstock down. 
and center it up just a little bit. Tighten it back up. Okay. Now, what I need to do is turn the tenon right down, right down here, so we can put the lid back on. So there we go. And by by numbering it, you can see it's uh, it's just just off just a little teeny bit. I mean, that's, it's hardly anything. I don't know if you can see that on on the camera, but okay. And then we're just bring the tenon down here. Just keep an eye on how, how close you're, you're getting to the holes there. All right, there we go. And we want to come down, down a little ways here so that we can mark for our reeds. So I'm going to come down right about there and then we'll cut out a notch in three on the, the flute part of it around there but I want to make sure that we mark that so before we uh, glue this back on we need to make the reeds and I got some dowel for that so I'm just gonna Put a flat spot on it real quick and with uh, my disc sander then I'll show you show you those okay so I'm just gonna bring bring my hole to the top here and put a line with something I'll put a pencil right down so I can see where center is on it wow that doesn't look pretty All right, and then I will cut a little notch. Just, uh, I'll just come in straight and then cut a, a 45 this way. Until we get, get right into the hole there. Lock that down. So you can kind of see, you know, your depth there as, as how far you need to go in. So. You can always cut out a little bit more if you need to. Just go around it and do the other side, the other two. All right, I just took my dowel and I made a flat spot on it, and I just went down, I don't know, maybe eighth of an inch or so. I just kept playing with it until I could get it get it to whistle a little bit, and then I slide it in here so that the flat spot is sticking out on each each one of them, and that one just barely barely comes through. But it's really a high pitch whistle, and I'm not sure whether that has to do with the depth of uh, the holes or not. And I I had to go through and and I made the two shorter ones a little bit longer because they were I couldn't get them to whistle. I would, so I was just playing around with it with the dowel, and the, so I went down a little bit further on those ones. So now I lost my lid. All right, so I'm just going to put my lid on, and I'm going to just glue that on with CA glue and uh, see if we can't get it to whistle and then I'll clean it up. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean the whole thing up and bring the lid around a little bit and then uh, part it off.
All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and part this off. This one was ba basically, I just wanted to see see if I could do it and get it to uh, make a sound. It does, does, but I, there's some things I need to adjust on it to make it, make it uh, sound a little bit better. It's got really high pitch. So I'm just gonna part it off here real quick. There we go. Uh, and you just need to fine tune a few things on it to adjust the sound. I think a little bit, a little bit more. It's a little high pitch, and uh, then adjust the the way the way the, um, the cut in for the reeds are. And maybe I could come up with uh, something else, or maybe somebody else could come up with a better idea. But uh, thank you for watching, and, and I'm going to uh, start up another channel, and I'm going to just post. Um, I get a lot of questions about things and it's just easier sometimes to show it than to um, explain it in an email so I'm going to start up another channel and that's all I'm going to do on it is just uh, try and answer answer everybody's questions so I will do that I think next week I'm going to try and uh, launch that and then just start out with uh, every week uh, I'll compile the questions and try and uh, explain them in a video but thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe